Hey guys, this is Nelson with Galaxy Note 2 Softmodder and today I'm going to be showing you how to get flash alerts when receiving calls and text messages on your Galaxy Note 2. So uh, the reason why you would want something a feature like this is especially if you're in class or you're at work. Uh, you can't really put your phone on uh, loud or ring because it'll be distracting. Same thing with vibrate. But if it's on silent, it's a bit too quiet, so you won't know uh, whether you received an important text message or a phone call. So you can make the flash on the back of your phone uh, flash <laughs> uh, over and over when receiving a text message or phone call. That way you can know when you receive uh, something like that. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to the XDA page and download the link. Uh, the link will also be in the article, so you can... Uh, download it directly from there. It's currently in beta 1. So if you uh, if you if you download that, make sure to keep checking uh, at the XDA page for any uh, new updates because I'm sure it'll be constantly updated. So this is the first beta. Uh, it just came out of alpha. So once you're done with that, just open it up press verify and install. Uh, I already have it installed so it'll ask me to replace it. Yes. Uh, you should be taken to this part so just press install and open it up. Uh, it's a really simple interface. It's just this with the call flash and the notification flash which is for text messaging. Um, here you'll see the milliseconds of the on duration and off duration. So that's how long it'll be on. Oh. That's how long it'll be on and that's how long it'll be off like I said. So I messed with it. Um, I'll show you guys the start, the start test. Um, you just press start, and that's that's the stock uh, flash that, that they put for you, the uh, the on and off milliseconds. So I changed it a bit down here for uh, notification flash. So you'll see. So it's a bit different. You can do it whatever whatever uh, you prefer. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So once you uh, once you're done ta messing with that, you can press enable, and then there'll be uh, uh, you'll be set. Um, the next thing you can do is uh, mess with the settings, or with the uh, for call flash. The preferences uh, are not working right now, or there aren't any, and this is uh, coming soon with two M's. So come back at a later time for notification flash. You can change things uh, time based or repetitive time based. Um, this here's a duration you can do anywhere between one and ten seconds or you can just put repetitive and it'll just keep repeating over and over and over uh, which might be kind of annoying uh, especially if uh, you know you're just not a uh, not able to check your notifications and uh, you can also press the menu down here and go to preferences for the uh, just all of for the entire application the module driver here it'll show standard and alternative. If the flash doesn't work for standard, choose alternative and it'll work. Um, you can also do operation mode, which is when to have the flashes available. So when your phone's on normal, vibrate, or silent mode, you could put all three or just, you know, have your phone on silent. Um, when you have it on silent, which is what I would do. And that way it flashes only that time, which is the only time I would ever need it. But I mean, you can put it for normal or vibrate as well. And then you can do a sleeping period. Uh, from there, you can do a, st a start time when you want the uh, the application to to turn off. And then you can also set the time to start it again. Or actually, the top one is when to start it, and this is when to stop it. Is you can obviously sleep. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna send myself a text message, and you can see the flash. So I'll enable the notification flash and I'm going to send myself a text message so there's a text message I just sent myself you can also feel it vibrating because I have it on vibrate too but yeah that was it because I only had it set for three seconds alright well that's it guys thanks don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy Note 2 Softmodder alright thanks